Hello my chicka babies and welcome back to my channel. It's Beauty by Christy. Today I'm coming with my empties video, whether it was a hit or a miss. I've seen these videos go on numerous times and I actually like them because it tells me whether or not I should try the product. Um, so I have a mixture of things here that I've just been holding on to and they need to get tossed. So let's just jump right on into this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget. Hit that on your way out. Come on. And give it a thumbs up so I do know if you generally like these videos so I can save some more stuff. If you want to see what I've been loving and hating, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I had a MAC Fix Plus that I wanted to talk about. Um, I actually filled this one up. I just put glycerin and essential oil and some purified water in it. This is not the actual Fix Plus. Um, I just made a do-it-yourself one for myself. Plus is crucial. I want to talk about it because a lot of people do ask me about it as I've been posting it a lot on my Instagram. And if you're not following me, why not? I will leave it somewhere here so that you can kindly do so. Um, so Fix Plus is it's just bomb.com. It's your prep and prime spray. Um, you can put it on before makeup. You can use it during makeup. You can use it after makeup. It's just one of those sprays that will help you throughout your application. If you've ever done your makeup and you're like, damn, but why do I look so powdery? How can I diminish that? If you're not using a setting spray or any kind of mist like MAC Fix Plus, then that will happen. Um, Fix Plus just mends your face back to normal and it makes all the powders adhere to you a lot better so you look like skin again. Um, you can use it to use eyeshadows, you can use it with um, your highlight, you can use it to blend on your face if you put foundation and it's a cream and you just want it to like glide on seamlessly, you can spritz your face and do your foundation. I use this like water. Which is why I've been trying to see if my at home one works just as good as the MAC Fix Plus. It's obviously not the same because the MAC Fix Plus has a lot more stuff than just glycerin and essential oil and purified water. Um, if you're someone who wants it just like for yourself on a daily rate and you won't have to like waste this puppy up, then it's a great alternative. There's so many YouTube videos, I actually found mine on YouTube, of doing so. Um, but yeah, it's just purified water, glycerin, and an essential oil of your choice. But if you have not tried Fix Plus, then you really should. If you are suffering from dry skin and you feel like anytime you do your makeup, your makeup just doesn't look as flawless, try the MAC Fix Plus. I'm telling you, it'll change your game of makeup forever. No lie. Every time I talk about this to like my friends, they're like, it's expensive, no. But when they use it, they're like, girl, thank you so much. Now I know why. You know, if it's pricey, then I mean it's going to be good. I mean, it's not always true, but if it's, if I'm telling you to get it, it's because it's like a holy grail product. Like two of them in my kits, there's one on my vanity table and there's one right here. Like, it's a big thing in my kit. Another thing that I really liked and I'm just, I'm waiting to go to Target to get another one. The Pixie Petra. Um, it's the Hydrating Milky Mist. This... Damn, I just took the, the little dumpy off. But this is so good. I don't know what's inside of it, but... Ugh, it smells so good. I have so many crimes that have like eczema on their skin. And this summer, I don't know what it is, but it's like my clients are just so much worse. And between this spray... Um, the Fix Plus and the Bacitrin or the Neosporin. I'm telling you, their the application has been flawless. And they keep telling me, like, every time I go to a different makeup artist, I always leave and my face is always, like, so dry and cakey. And when using my makeup, it's just so smooth and seamless. And yes, I'm dry, but it's not, like, congested or adhering to that area. So you got to make sure that you always prep and prime your client. Even after, if you need to go in there and just lather that baby up, you do so. Because there's no worse feeling than a client paying for makeup and they feel like, well, damn, I could have just did this myself. The reason why I came to you is because I have this problem. This is one of those that, like, I feel like it's a miracle mist. It's a miracle mist since B1, B2, B6. 
for the ultimate remedy for thirsty skin. They say that it's like a glass of water for your face, kind of the same remedy. Um, this is why I like this one. Um, you can use it before makeup, nighttime, anytime. Gives your face a burst of hydration. It's not tested on animals in case you're into that. I love this. I'm just waiting to go to Target so I can get like three. And even though it's $15, the shit is so good. It's like deep moisture. Like it's like a cream, but in a spray. So you know, like if your client's face is dry and then you can't put cream on them, what do you do? The Fix Plus is only gonna do so much. If it's eczema or rosacea, it's not really gonna help that. But this does. It's so good. I don't know. Get it? And you'll see. Next, obviously, we all know that Mac Soft Ochre is my jam. She's empty. I got a new one. The only thing I do hate about these is that they dry up so fast. Obviously, you're like opening, you're getting pigment, it's getting air. Um, it just dries up so fast. That's the only thing that I don't like. But I love how opaque it is. It like conceals my eye area and it doesn't crack or crease or anything like that. Like sometimes if I use concealer because I'm lazy to get the paint pot, it won't hold up as good as Mac Soft Ochre would. Um, it's definitely something that you should have in your kit. It's in essential for sure. It's from Tarte. It is Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. Um, it's a, I believe it's a face cream, but I loved it as an under eye cream. And I keep forgetting to pick this one up again. It's like my mind is just so scattered these days, but I have to. This is like so good it feels like a silicone gel cooling like but then it's tacky so it kind of like allows your concealer to like lock and load but your under eye to have enough moisture throughout the day so good it's so good and it smells like a citrus which i don't mind um it's not something that you smell throughout the whole time but this is so good if you are like dry 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 underneath your eye and it's not recommended for that don't kill me um but i you can use products for any and everything the same thing i say about brushes this for me is great for underneath the eye next i want to talk about a concealer it's from maybelline it's the dream brightening creamy concealer in light medium number 30 all right, this is okay for like an every day. I want to like quickly go get out the door. This is what it looks like. Um, here's my problem. It's very silky. So as I'm like blending, it gives me no coverage at all unless I go over it like three times. Who really has time for that? Like if I want to be like less more out the door i don't want to work that much harder like i need to do my makeup in five minutes and get out of here if i have to continue to put this on it's like why and then it kills me because it says it's brightening where like i need to correct in order for it to like highlight me at all um so it's not something that i gravitate to a lot that's why i wanted to mention it in this video if you haven't tried it Honestly, if you don't suffer from under eye circles, don't try it, don't waste your money because it's not going to conceal that area that good. Extended Play Lash. This mascara, and I know that this sounds so crazy because I mean like, who needs a mascara for top and who needs one for bottom? Trust me, before I used this, I thought that I was a firm believer in one mascara can do it all. Lies. This mascara just brings my bottom lashes to life. I didn't use it today because I ran out. But I noticed that it's not even the product as much. It's the freaking spoolie. This spoolie is just so good. So good. It's like the perfect amount. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you all the way in. I'm just going to dip my wand in another mascara. Just so you can see. like, And I already have mascara on these bottom lashes. But... I know that if I use this wand, they can elevate so much more. I'm not even lying to you. And I used to think that it was such a dramatic thing when I used to watch these YouTubers and they'd be like, I have two mascaras, one for my top and one for my bottom. I'm like, why? Like, why is that necessary? Oh no, it's necessary. I want you to see though. Like. 
my lashes go from mediocre to ba ba boom. It's amazing. I don't know what's on this brush, but it gives my lashes life. Like, there's a big difference. You can see it. And it's it literally is just this. So if you haven't tried it, give it a go. I promise you, you will be so satisfied. If you like feel like your lashes, your lower lashes never like say hello, trust me, they will after this. Next, I wanna talk. Next is gonna be Hourglass. This primer is pricey. She is expensive, but she's so damn good. I'm mad that I finished. It's literally, maybe there's like one drop in here. Let's see if I can get something. What? It's nothing. Nada. But this is so good. Okay, so this is like my like. You have a wedding. You. You want to look flawless for like 12 hours primer. It's really good. It is white, but it like transforms into nothing. It blurs. Um, and it has like a silicone-y feeling which allows your makeup to just like stick onto you and lock and load but she's so good if you are doing bridal if you're a makeup artist and you're doing bridal that is something that I definitely recommend it's so good it's the hourglass mineral veil primer it does have SPF 15 um, but honestly anytime I take pictures with this I don't see any flashback at all good stuff into a phase with lash glues and I mean please tell me I'm not the only one so I have three right here I love this applicator you know the whole you got the wand oh as opposed to the squeezing it out and like letting you dry putting a drop letting it dry blah 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 here's the problem that I have with these they always get so like crunchy like that looks gross okay and then sometimes i don't close it all the way but i think it's closed and it's the back of glue that's just at the top it's like why if i go to a client and take this out she's gonna be like que puerca. but no it's literally how the glue is and then look Ugh. like i'm gonna be struggling like they should make it that the glue just like stays there and not stays stuck up there because there's like so much glue up there that's why I can't like close it all the way so then the glue the, so then the glue dries out and then it gives me a headache and then it looks like garbage like who has time for that here's what I want to say house of lashes I think it's like ten dollars I have a love and hate relationship with it the glue is too damn good like it's so good that I will have glue on my eyes for like three or four days who has time for that that is the only problem I do have with it. Um, other than that, it is a really good glue. I'm not sure if it's latex free, um, but I stopped using this because I was getting like itchy around the rim of my eye, and maybe that is why, because it's not latex free. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't know. It doesn't say it on the on the actual bottle. Um, so then I went to Duo. And Duo was okay. It's a brush on adhesive with vitamins. It didn't irritate me or anything like that. But again, I hate the application. It's just like, nobody has time for that. Um, then I went to the Kiss Strip Adhesive with Aloe. This, don't waste your money on it. It's garbage. The other one I have from Kiss that's black and it's in one of these tubes. So good. That one, I would recommend. It's bomb.com. Next, the Schwing from the Balm. It's the liquid eyeliner. It is matte, so if you are into that, um, definitely try this one. It's a little bit pricey, but honestly, like, I had this for like four months before it like completely dried up and ran out. And as you see, there is like still a couple of swipes in there. I just opened up a new one because I have to like come sometimes dip in, so I know that it's like on the edge of dying on me. And ain't nobody got time for that. Like when you're trying to perfect a wing liner, you can't fear it and you cannot run out of product in the middle of it. So I just opened up a new one because of that. But this is so good. And then it dries matte, matte black. Bomb. Next I want to talk about a face mask. This is the Hollywood 
Glam Glow Gravity Mud. It's the firming treatment. It looks like this. You guys know the Tin Man mask. <sighs> It smells so good. It smells so good. Also, it is very expensive. But it's so damn good. I'm a firm believer that this does work. Anytime that I do use this, my smile lines are not as visible. Um, it's, I think it was like $60, $68. Um, would I buy it again? Yes. I did see a difference as I am getting older I want to make my skin last you know I don't want to look 50 when I'm 30 um, let's face it being out in the Sun we do makeup all day so you are tugging on your face so there's a lot of things that I really should be doing to prevent all that anti-aging however when you live in New York you have time for nothing let's face it so I would purchase this again. This is really good. I know it's expensive. I know a lot of people hate to give up their coins on something like this because it's kind of like you don't know if it's really working. But I swear that I always feel like my face is a lot tighter when I finish this mask. And not that same day. I see it like the next two days. It's like, oh, okay, then I got a little facelift. I'm confused. But like literally, like right here, it'll just be like that instead of having my lines it'll be a little bit less and i love that i dig that because i hate these i hate them next mac lip gloss in sugar rimmed you guys know i talked about this so much but she's done she's so dry and i love this gloss i don't know what <coughs> it's so good it's so pretty so good it's definitely one of those glasses that you better not be trying to get a kiss with it's so sticky I don't care I don't mind it because it's so pretty <sighs> ah, I ain't trying to get kissed with these glossy ass lips anyways you know what I'm saying um, I'm into the whole glossy lip especially if my hair is up if my hair is down then it's kind of like annoying because we all know that your hair loves to go to your lips when you have lip gloss when you have a matte lip that shit never happens never but the second that you put on a glossy lip, it's like the wind is clashing on your lips. I want to talk about the Beauty Blender Cleanser. Um, honestly, there's so many other things that can like clean your Beauty Blender just as good. <coughs> it's good, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, I feel like I've gone through this faster than any antibacterial soap or the Zote so good if you want something that's high-end but honestly there's so many things that are like cheaper now that you really don't have to spend your coins on this it's it's just hyped up because it's the name of the, the brand of the beauty blender but there's so many alternatives now that you can use that I honestly would say skip there's still some in here because I gave up on it I was like I'm not going to continue to use you, fall in love with you, and then have to rebuy you. No. I'm going to find something that works just as good and make it my newfound baby. That's how I work. I don't know. But yeah, don't dish out your coins on it. Next, I'm going to talk about <clears throat> the thin cotton buds from Muji. They come in a container like this. I think it's like $3. And the... Um, Q-tip looks like this. It's a mini, mini, tiny baby. I love these in my kit. Reason being is that when they have the eye boogers, it's great to like get in there without making them feel like insecure or like cautious about it. I mean, it's a common thing. We all get it. But I'm not gonna tell my client, oh, can you dig in your eye and get that? And then the other ones, the regular Q-tips are like so big that if a client sees you coming with that, they get scared. This is very small, so I don't feel like they fear it as much as a regular Q-tip. I genuinely love these. If you have not tried, do so. Next, I wanted to add something from my workout. Um, Sweet Sweat. I talk about this all the time. It's really good. It's a workout enhancer. You apply it before to your body. Um, and as you work out, it's supposed to like help you sweat a lot more. Your body temperature, it allows you to sweat a lot more than you usually would. Um, I like it. I know so many people tell me that, that you can use like makeup remover cream, like Al Albaline or something like that. Um, don't quote me. I've never actually tried it. Um, 
but I have tried this and I honestly love it like it's gone basically this is my second bottle um, I will buy another one just because I feel like it helps my stomach region sweat a lot more um, you can lather this all over your body I usually do my stomach area and my arms because those are the two areas that I hate the most it's like the most stubborn fat of life um, so that's where I need the workout enhancer the days that I do a snatched pony this definitely comes in handy it's the black vanilla edge control smoother um, it's from Carol's daughter it looks like this and I like this because it flattens and molds my hair to the way I want it to be <clears throat> but it's not putting too much product where my hair looks dirty like I can wear a ponytail with this cream and then the next day I can just like pass my hands through it and it doesn't look white or flaky like if I use something else like a different paste or hairspray um, it doesn't leave that kind of residue it's really good um, it's it's for dull brittle and dry hair smooths edges replenishes moisture adds shine it's macadamia oil aloe and honey so that is why it doesn't leave any kind of residue um, it's all great things for you um, and I mainly just use it for here and my baby hairs in the back because they're still gonna end as hell um, but anytime I do a ponytail I do use this just wanted to mention it because I am running low and I know that that is a big issue for people and if you're like me and you don't want your hair to look white midnight try this one it's really good Lee would have to be my moisturizer I featured this in my monthly favorites if you saw it you already know if you haven't why not to so go watch um, this moisturizer has been doing me so good like so good this is my third one I saved both and the other one is over there this has been saving my life I don't know what has happened after I hit 25 I just physically went downhill my body was just like you know we're tired of being nice to you and we're gonna show you the real deal and my allergies came in and kicked my ass literally <laughs> um then last year I realized that my whole body was itchy it wasn't just my psoriasis my scalp psoriasis um, it was physically my whole body um, certain weeks or certain days it'll be worse like I noticed that when I do work out intense and then I come home take a shower if I don't put moisturizer on girl in an hour or two it's like I feel like a snake it's so bad and if I start itching it's kind of like you know when you wear socks all day and you finally take them off and you just gotta itch your feet I don't know maybe I'm crazy but it's that same feeling and I I can't stop and then I leave myself with like so many little bite marks is what it looks like because my nails are so long which I need to cut them by the way um, so yeah if I don't lather this moisturizer on me it will just be a bad night because I will scratch myself in my sleep and just straight damage myself it'll look like somebody beat me up but it was me yep that it's that serious so this moisturizer has been doing me so good but that is it for my empties I hope that you guys enjoyed it comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see some more of these um, so I can save the products because it has been very hard not to throw all these all the way <laughs> I won't even lie however I like these videos because it kind of gets you to know whether or not I continue to like the product because sometimes products are featured in a monthly favorites because at that month I liked it but you know season changes and so does your body the weather the temperature and your body changes along with it so it's really hard to say that I'm gonna love something one month and then six months later I'm still gonna love it but these products have been like no-brainer it's been a year and I'm still loving you um, <clears throat> that's the reason why I love these empties videos but let me know if you guys want to continue to see these give it a thumbs up so I do genuinely know don't forget to subscribe on your way out I appreciate it comment below and let me know if you like these videos let me know what your favorites are if any of these were um, let's chat you know hit that bell so you don't miss anything I love it that you guys are sending me the notification squad you guys are too cute too cute but yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching and I will see you loves in the next one.